welcome to today's show. I'm your host, Mike Slinkard. This week, we're going Western. First, I head to Nevada to pursue a mule deer buck of a lifetime with my PSE. Then we're headed north to hook up with Rocky Jacobson of Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls for some up close antelope action. As always, we're gonna show it all just like it happened right here on Hunting with Hacks. Hunting is about getting close. Really close. Get closer than you ever thought was possible. When you have a cameraman and you setting out in a dirt field like this, you can get away with so much with this hex on. I've got to give credit once again to Hex. We showcase the science of getting close right here on Hunting with Hex. Hunting with Hex is brought to you by PSE Archery. Tough Country, American values forged in steel. Ozonics, undetectable, undeniable. Victory Archery, the carbon arrow experts. Nocturnal lighted knocks, illumination that lasts for 20 plus hours. Rocky Mountain hunting calls, we call the game. Tactic Am, share your hunt. Warren winches. Trophy properties in auction. And Hex Stealth Screen, the evolution of concealment. On this first hunt, I'm in Nevada for an archery mule deer hunt. This is a highly coveted tag that took me seven years to draw in this unit, so I was super excited to get out and get on the hunt. I spotted several decent bucks early on, but I was holding out for a true trophy buck. A little while into the hunt, I finally spotted what I was looking for. While slowly glassing a mountainside, I spotted a giant old buck hanging in the rocky shadows of a nearby peak. Well, we spotted a gigantic buck last night, right at dark. Um, got kickers on one side. He's probably pushing 200 inches. And uh, came back early today, looking for him. Gosh, we were here for, gosh, till eight o'clock in the morning. Finally spotted him coming up out of a draw, and I've got him bedded up here on the ridge now. Um, there's four or five other bucks up there on the ridge, nothing right with him. So uh, he's just gigantic buck. He's 200 inch buck. Um, or close with all the kickers and stuff. This was public land, so this guy was a master of disappearing into thin air. I spent agonizing hours watching him as he lay bedded in areas that were all in his favor. Those places that allowed him to watch downhill while his nose alerted him to any danger coming in from above. Or places that simply had no stockable route. Finally, we had a favorable wind. So when he bedded in the shade of a large rock, I took note of the landmarks and started climbing up the mountain. In order to get on this buck, I had to climb the backside of the mountain. And after hours of scrambling, I finally reached the spot directly above the buck. Now, I just had to hope that he hadn't moved while I was out of sight. Okay, right over this hill. We just gotta figure out where we are once we get there. Gotta be cool. With the wind steadily uphill in my face, I slipped closer and closer to the buck's last known position. At 50 yards, I finally spotted him, still bedded beneath the same rock. With no open path to the buck, I decided to just push in as close as I could and trust my hex suit to help conceal my presence until the big guy stood for a shot. 15 minutes passed, then 30, then 40, then a full hour. You know, I was tempted to throw a rock or make some kind of sound to try to get the buck to stand, but I've been doing this a long time and usually with bucks of this caliber, they get the slightest inkling there's danger and they usually come out like their tail's on fire. Well, after two hours of standing there on the hill, I knew any time that buck would stand and move and change beds and get back into the shade. I was expecting action any time. Unfortunately, about that time, I felt a strong gust of wind on my back. I knew I was too close to these deer for it to go unnoticed, and sure enough, a small buck jumps up and bolts from its bed right below us. And I had a split second to draw and get on the buck as he stood, and then it was all over. All I needed to do was stand up, and when he, st he stood up, I got to full draw and he was running. That's the way it is. One errant breeze had a buck of a lifetime just run out of my life, I guarantee you. Well, to say I was disappointed would have been the understatement of the century. Well, been doing this all my life. This spot and stock mule deer hunting is uh, is 
is really a, it'll tear you up and I'm pretty tore up right now <laughs> it's one of the biggest bucks I've ever seen in my life no doubt and uh, way over 200 inches um, we've got all the video you can see what he was I don't know if you could see him here because uh, you know we were there just had that little errant breeze and that's all it takes everything goes dead and got that little breeze going downhill and uh, Actually, one of the other bucks that was around the hills, one that jumped up first. He jumped up, and I just got my pin on him, and he took off running. And uh, just nothing there. So I don't know if we'll see that buck again or not. Usually, those kind of deer you get one chance in your life at. Well, finally, I had to head home to take care of some business. Plus, it was also the week of the full moon, which makes finding these desert bucks super difficult. So I headed home to let the full moon pass and came back a couple weeks later. I was hoping that it would be enough time for things to calm down and let this buck settle back into his old routine. Well, we're back down in our deer spot here in Nevada. You know, it's actually been 14 days since we first seen our big buck. We've got him found again. So we're back at it. He's on the same ridge, so we're gonna hope to put him to bed and maybe get another stock on him. Well, once again, I climbed that mountain, and once again, I spotted him bedded, but I couldn't get a clean shot. So I eased to within 20 yards of this bedded buck and stayed there for over four hours. Well, unfortunately, another group of hunters had became interested that I was watching the same mountainside every day for the past four days. And unfortunately, they bumped right into the bucks that had been the buddies of mine all summer. They jumped these bucks up and they ran straight to where my buck was bedded. Once again, after hours of climbing and sneaking and patiently waiting, it all blew up in my face. This time the buck didn't show again and I was forced to leave the mountain without him. Even though I didn't get this deer, it's still no doubt that Hacks technology played a significant role in allowing me to remain undetected so close for hour after hour of a true trophy class mule deer. You know, if things would have been just a little bit different, I'd be hanging my tag on one of the biggest mule deer that I've ever seen. Well, Mike may not be taking home a monster, but there's still a chance to put some meat in that tag soup. It's all coming up right after this. Welcome back to Hunting with Hex. We're going full on Western today, and host Mike Slinker just finished an agonizing hunt on a big old muley buck. Now he's going to slow it down a bit and head to Idaho to see if he can turn his luck around on an antelope. Fresh off my heartbreaking Nevada mule deer hunt, I decided to swing north and hook up with my good friend Rocky Jacobson of Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. Rocky had a great antelope area all picked out in southern Idaho, and I had an archery tag for antelope burning a hole in my pocket. Well, this is kind of cool because we were just spike camping without any tents or anything. We just threw our cots and our sleeping bags out on the ground and slept under the stars. There were several good water holes in the area, so we decided to pop ground blinds up on some of the better ones. Normally, you'd put your blind up ahead of time and allow a few days for the antelope to acclimate to it. But I found out over the years that pronghorn are incredibly sensitive to living electrical fields that we naturally produce. And if we block those emissions with hex, antelope don't seem to pay attention to the blind, even if it's brand new to the area. So, as I've done many times before, I just popped up the blind and started hunting. There's an antelope right there, it's a buck. Well, it wasn't long before I spotted some decent antelope moving in the area. Well, I burned all my free time chasing the big buck in Nevada, and I only had a day or two that I could hunt. So I decided to take the first good buck that gave me a shot. And I didn't have long to wait. Well, there are two of us in the blind, myself and my cameraman. Both of us are wearing full hex systems head to toe. Despite the fact that I just set this blind up and crawled into it that morning, the buck came straight to water. Well, I hit the shoulder a bit forward of where I wanted to, but it was a lethal hit and the buck went down in short order. 
you know, great time out here hunting with Rocky Japes, and I've known him a long time, but the first time I've ever actually shared a camp with him. He's an excellent elk hunter. Rocky Mountain hunting calls are the best calls out there, bar none. This buck came right in, had no idea, put a shot on him, and uh, went about 80 yards, fell over. The original Hex suit is very lightweight, breathable, and versatile enough to be used in almost any hunting situation. The Hex systems consist of three pieces. These essential pieces include a Hex pant, Hex top, and Hex head cover. You may use any combination of appropriate Hex products to achieve the goal of covering as much of your body as possible with Hex technology. All Hex hunting products are now available in our new Hex Style Anywhere and Hex Style Green digital camo patterns to match any terrain. The material features a highly electrically conductive carbon grid woven into the polyester base cloth. The grid blocks your body's electrical field. The suit is designed to be worn under your regular camo or over the top as an outer layer. The technology is effective either way. The original pants are cut similar to sweatpants with an elastic waistband, elastic cuffs on the bottom, side pockets, and a convenient fly. The pullover shirt features thumb holes, serge stitching, and an embroidered logo. The head cover has a hemmed eye hole, adjustable drawstring in the back, and is very easy to use. Additional accessories are sold separately and include the hex hat, our versatile multi-rag that can be worn in a variety of ways, camo gloves made of a lightweight, stretchy material in matching camo, and a heavyweight over-the-calf sock. And of course, all of the accessories have the hex grid woven right in. Order right now and use the promo code to save $30 on your order of a complete hex suit. Visit our website to learn more about our full line of clothing and accessories, as well as our fit guarantee for worry-free ordering. Hex has a lot of new products, including this comfortable hooded shirt. It comes with an integrated face mask, a convenient front pocket, thumb holes, and is the perfect Hex outerwear piece for these cooler days in the field. It comes in both Hex style camo patterns as well as a two tone version. You can check it out on our website along with our other great products. While you're there, take the opportunity to get your own Hex system on the way. We'll be back with more close-up antelope action right after this. Welcome back to Hunting with Hex. The crew is hunting west this week, and so far they've been from Nevada to Idaho. Before the break, we watched host Mike Slinkard take this nice Idaho antelope. Now, let's get back to the hunt. Like I said earlier, I was hunting with my buddy Rocky Jacobson of Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. While scouting the area, Rocky has spotted a big antelope buck that had a horn that splayed way out wider than normal. But with so many water holes, it was really a big game of musical chairs trying to figure out which one he was watering at at any particular day. So Rocky took his best guess, popped up his blind and jumped in it and trusted his hex system to do the rest. You know, it can get crazy hot when you're sitting in a blind all day in the baking sun. So Rocky is wearing the original hex system as a thin outer layer all by itself. You know, this is a perfect system to keep cool and comfortable for a long day set. Rocky has a blind right on the edge of the water, and as a result, other animals come in from time to time. In this case, Rocky has a pair of ducks to worry about. They're in the water right in front of him, but with his hex on, they remain totally calm and go on about their business as usual. He also has some sage grass roll in for a drink. Oftentimes, a trophy animal will stand back and watch the reaction of the smaller animals before committing to come in. By utilizing hex technology, Rocky is able to remain undetected even to the sharp eyes of the ducks and the sage grouse. Without this hex, I don't think I could film myself and get away with all the movement that I have to do to run two cameras. I really depend on this hex a lot to be able to do this. No doubt the calm demeanor of the birds soon encouraged this good buck to move in and start making his way around the blind. So many things can go wrong with hunting skittish antelope. The wind, the strangeness of the blind, a noise, anything. Especially a new blind on a familiar water hole. 
then add the electrical field of a predator, and oftentimes that's enough to send a big antelope like this running over the hill to the next water hole. Fortunately, Rocky has his hex on, and this buck remains calm and relaxed. When he noticed the buck looking off to the side, Rocky snuck a peek and saw the big splayed buck working his way in. It walked right into the pond, and after one quick look at the blind, it stepped up to drink without any hesitation. At 10 steps, Rocky let one fly. It was a clean pass through and a quick recovery. That was pretty cool. Opening day of antelope season here in Idaho, 2016, and I killed a dandy. I'm gonna get him loaded up, get out of here, and get him taken care of. Get him put in that freezer. I got back camp, so we have some really good eating meat. You know, there's no doubt that by wearing hacks, Rocky was able to keep those smaller animals calm, which led to this big trophy buck feeling confident enough to walk straight in. Our most popular hex system is our base layer. The base layer is a lightweight semi-thermal material designed to be worn under your regular hunting clothing or over the top. It comes in the original olive green as well as our new hex style anywhere and hex style green digital camo patterns to match any terrain. The material features a highly electrically conductive carbon grid woven into the polyester base cloth. The grid blocks your body's electrical field. The suit is designed to be worn under your regular camo or over the top as an outer layer. The technology is effective either way. All complete hex systems include three pieces. These essential pieces include a hex pant, hex top, and hex head cover. You may use any combination of appropriate HEX products to achieve the goal of covering as much of your body as possible with HEX technology. The shirt is a quarter zip Henley with rugged serge stitching, embroidered HEX logo, and thumb holes. The form-fitting pants have rugged serge stitching throughout, and the heavy elastic waistband and cuff ensure they stay in place. They also feature a convenient fly. The head cover has a hemmed eye hole adjustable drawstring in the back and is very easy to use. Additional accessories are sold separately and include the hex hat, our versatile multi-rag that can be worn in a variety of ways, camo gloves made of a lightweight stretchy material in matching camo, and a heavy weight over the calf sock. And of course, all of the accessories have the hex grid woven right in. Order right now and use the promo code to save $30 on your order of a complete hex suit. Visit our website to learn more about our full line of clothing and accessories, as well as our fit guarantee for worry-free ordering. Don't go away. The guys, uh, or should I say the gals, show us how it's supposed to be done right after this. Hunting with Hacks is brought to you by PSE Archery. Tough Country, American values forged in steel. Ozonics, undetectable, undeniable. Victory Archery, the carbon arrow experts. Nocturnal lighted knocks, illumination that lasts for 20 plus hours. Rocky Mountain hunting calls, we call the game. Tacticam, share your hunt. Warren Winches. Trophy Properties in Auction, and Hex Stealth Screen, the evolution of concealment. On this next hunt, I'm with my daughter Caitlin in Nevada. She had an antelope tag and I'm on the camera. You know, we hunted several days without seeing a good buck, so Caitlin was getting a little antsy and wanted to walk around a bit. Antelope are notoriously difficult to stalk to within bow range. I mean, it's wide open, but Caitlin was adamant that she needed a break from the blind, so we headed out across the sage on an old two-track. We soon spotted a small buck that walked in and bedded on a hill right above us. The buck was too small to shoot, but Caitlin decided to use it as practice to see how close she could really get. As you can see, she's completely in the open, standing straight up and walking right towards this buck. 
By moving slowly and taking her time, she's eventually able to close within bow range before the buck even gets to his feet. Even then, with Caitlin only 30 yards away, he doesn't run. This is yet another example of the hex effect that we see over and over. Without your electrical field, animals simply don't perceive you as a threat, and they oftentimes calmly stand and let you approach much closer than you ever thought you could. Now we just need to find Caitlin a little bigger buck to try it on. Hank's stealth screen may be considered by some to be one of the most controversial pieces of hunting technology to come about in recent years. Science had already proven that several species used electroreception to detect prey animals, so why couldn't prey animals use it to detect predators? In the years since the launch, Hank's technology has been accepted and used prominently in the world of hunters, divers, photographers, and conservationists. It has made the transformation from what some considered a questionable new concept to a tried and proven technology. Many Hex users say they simply will not go in the field without it. Year after year after year I've proven that my Hex has let me get closer. I've had the most success in my camp multiple years and I really credit that to my Hex. When you have a cameraman and you setting out in a dirt field like this, you can get away with so much with this Hex on. Imagine what you can do if you don't have two of you sitting out here and you're just trying to sneak up and get one yourself. I've got to give credit once again to Hex. This was probably the most amazing elk encounter I've ever had. I couldn't be happier with Hex. And once again, the footage, the experience speaks for itself. So if you're still wondering, does Hex really work? I think we just answered that. Hex, yes, it really works. You know, this week's show was a lot of fun for me and the entire Hex crew. From monster muley bucks in Nevada to amazing close-up antelope encounters, we put Hex to the test and showed once again that Hex will keep you concealed in a way that is simply not possible with any other hunting gear. You know, Hex truly is one of the most game-changing technologies to be introduced to the hunting world this century. If you need to see more proof, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Hex Stealth Screen. Or if you haven't yet experienced the patented Hex Denver for yourself, you need to go online right now or give us a call and take full advantage of the show special. You know, that's our way of saying thank you for watching. And one thing is certain, once you experience the Hex Effect in action, you'll never again hunt without it. In the meantime, we'll keep pushing the limits and bringing it to you each week right here on Hunting with Hex. If you have an amazing Hex encounter you'd like to share, give us a call or go online. If we use it on the air, you'll be in the running to win an exciting hunting trip with a Hex crew. You can find out more on our website. While you're online, make sure to take a minute and check us out on our social media sites as well.